I'm about to expose the biggest lie you were ever taught in school. They told you the closer you get to the sun, the hotter it gets, right? Wrong. The planet literally hugging the sun, Mercury, can get so cold it's minus 180 degrees Celsius. But the next planet over, Venus, is a permanent 464 degrees Celsius inferno. One planet freezes solid the second the sun sets, the other is hot enough to melt lead. Today, we are smashing this cosmic lie to pieces. Seriously, you probably think I'm crazy right now. The hottest planet isn't the one touching the sun. Watch this entire video, and I promise you will never see our solar system the same way again. Don't get me wrong, when the sun hits Mercury, it's a crazy 430 degrees Celsius. But the instant the sun sets, that heat literally vanishes. Why? Because Mercury has basically zero atmosphere to keep it warm. It's like yanking a hot pan off a fire and watching it instantly freeze. Having no atmospheric blanket means all its heat shoots straight back into space, creating a temperature drop of over 600 degrees. Being close to the sun only matters if the sun can actually see you. Now, let's go to Venus. This planet is surrounded by a thick, toxic atmosphere that's 96.5% carbon dioxide, and the pressure on the surface is 92 times what it is on Earth. Sunlight gets in and heats up the ground. But when the planet tries to cool down, the carbon dioxide traps every bit of that heat. This is the greenhouse effect on steroids. The heat literally has nowhere to go. And this insane atmosphere spreads the heat everywhere. So even the night side is just as hot. The result is a non-stop, brutal 464 degrees Celsius everywhere on the planet. So let me say this again. Mercury's highest temperature is 430 degrees Celsius. But at night, it drops to a mind-blowing minus 180 degrees Celsius. And Venus's temperature, it never changes from 464 degrees Celsius, day or night. One planet shows you how having no atmosphere will freeze you instantly. The other shows you how a super-thick atmosphere will cook you alive. How close you are to the sun gives you heat, but it's the atmosphere that decides if you keep it. If you're mind-blown, destroy that like button and subscribe right now for more insane space facts. And for my next challenge, I want you to tell me in the comments, which of these insane planets would you rather send a probe to? Mercury's frozen dark side or the non-stop inferno of Venus? Let me know right now. So the next time someone tells you the closest planet to the sun has to be the hottest, you have the ultimate comeback. You tell them about Mercury, the freezing rock next to the sun, and Venus, the planet wrapped in a deadly carbon dioxide blanket. Distance is just one part of the story. The atmosphere is what writes the epic final chapter.